Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. And welcome back to Nerd News Today, where we are continuing to celebrate Harry Potter's birthday. So previously, we got a whole box of mysterious Harry Potter goods from the Noble Collection, and we got two items in particular that we're going to focus on for this video. Before we start, just a quick disclaimer. We both recognize that there's a lot of controversy surrounding J.K. Rowling. However, Harry Potter has a lot more positives than negatives, and he is beloved by all. For those who have problems with Harry, that's cool. Move on. It's all good. We're going to celebrate Harry's birthday because he has influenced and inspired so many others, regardless of who his creator was. He's transcended it, so you know what? Bring on the party! So, let's show everyone what we got. So previously, you guys saw that we got our Harry Potter journal. Our Harry Potter bendy fig. But we also got this, which is a Harry Potter wand stand, along with... Harry Potter's wand. So let us begin with this wand stand here. This is going to be Gryffindor's house wand stand. And uh, so I've actually haven't even looked at this myself, so I don't even know exactly what it's going to look like, yeah. but I'm expecting some pretty good stuff from it. So I'm assuming it's going to be very Gryffindory. How heavy is it? Not at all, actually. You want to try it? It's not heavy at all. Oh, like it's got a little bit of heft to it, but no, it's not bad at all. I think it's certainly going to be enough to keep your item nice and steady. Get your handy dandy noble collection catalog. Seriously, can we just take a hot second to talk about It's not just that the noble collection has a lot of great products but there's quality just in the catalog the catalog is on this gorgeous nice glossy paper it feels good this is quality i just love toy catalogs and things this like this why. in general which you know i feel like we don't get enough of we don't like play does a good job with their toys they include little catalogs in that usually um, this just reminds me so much of like some of the dc stuff it just reminds you of like kenner's catalogs mm -hmm. these yeah. cool their toys in the 90s i love those uh I'm a big fan of toy catalogs too, so I want to give recognition whenever I can. You know, like, this is just so nice. Oh, dang, that's also really nice. Yeah, speaking of nice, how about this? Ooh. So here we go, this is the wand stand coming out. You guys can see there's the Gryffindor logo right in the middle. Oh my god, the lions? Yeah, nice big metal lions popping out. Oh my gosh. Let's get it out of there. Oh, look at that. And on the back, you got, of course, the Harry Potter branding. Oh my god, that is so nice. Oh, wow. Oh, I love how cool it is. Yeah. I love, love, love how cool this is. Temperature-wise, not Temperature-wise, just... temperature-wise, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god, this is beautiful. Uh, like we said, there is a little bit of heft to it, which make it sturdy it's and supposed solid. To be a hefty, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's beautiful. It's a good little paperweight, basically. Oh my gosh. So now we gotta do the grand unveiling, though. Oh, yes. What we all really came here to see. Yes. So, sorry, Harry, gotta move you. Here, you can have Harry. Thanks. Thanks, Harry. It kind of looks like the book version, I realize now a little bit, doesn't it? It does, yeah. He still looks sick, like Angela Lansbury a little bit, but I like it. It's like a little bit Daniel Radcliffe, a little bit book illustration. Yeah. I, I really I really like the way that they were able to do that. So now, the wand. So first of all, um, you have this little beautiful thing saying it's a product inspired by the world of Harry Potter. It's basically showing that it's an authentic replica of Harry's wand. I absolutely love this fabric, which, you know, gives us a real unveiling. This is real, really a presentation right here. I know, know, I mean, this velour inside. Ooh, velour. Gotta love good velour. And finally, most importantly, a wand. Look at this beauty. That is a really nice wand. This is, oof, this is Harry's wand, you know? Let me take this out of the shot, just so you guys can see again, too. I mean, not only is this presentation just so wonderful of how this is boxed in, it's even got on the sides, you've got like the sizes for it too. Mm -hmm. Just such great little details in there. I love that. Oh, this is awesome. Are you making spells or saying uh, other things? Well, I mean, I'm doing the motions, but I'm not actually saying it because I'm not really good at the nonverbal spells yet. I got a spell. You're now watching Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. What's NBC? I don't know. I don't remember how these went. <laughs> I absolutely love what the Noble Collection is doing regarding how they weight stuff. This is hefty. This is sturdy and firm, but it's light enough that, you know, you're not going to have any problems. Yeah, like if I was going to compare the weight of these two things, I mean, I think this is actually a bit heavier, but it's still not like either one's heavier or rough to hold. No. They're both very comfortable to hold. Yeah, they're very well distributed. It, it's so well distributed. You know, like it holds the way you'd expect a wand to hold. Like it's comfortable. That's how I think the best yeah. way to put it. It's comfortable, despite it looking all like, you know, it's rough and rugged here, this handle. Yeah. But no, it's actually quite nice to hold. Yeah. Oh, this is lovely. And actually, since you grabbed Harry, I do want to make a very quick note of how brilliant the Noble Collection is. This is Harry's wand. <laughs> Bendy Fig Harry. 
This is Harry's real wand, his prop replica. They even have the little knobs in the wood. I mean, that is attention to detail. For no other reason than this, everyone should be supporting the Noble Collection because that kind of attention to detail is masterful. He just defeated Harry in his duel, so you now have control of his wand. Sweet. But then again, I'm a little violent with him, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you play with it. Yeah, you Slytherin. Can't help it. And I'm really a Slither Claw. I like to split my time. Yes, yeah, so this is just really great. Attention to detail is absolutely there. Oh. I've seen a lot of other wands from other makers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, in fact, I think it might have been Jax who made a long time ago with had some little mini wand replicas. <laughs> yeah. Remember those diecast ones? Oh, those are really nice, but. And I think they also made yeah. much larger ones, yeah. too, actually. They were made of plastic. This one here, it's just great material. Uh, it feels really nice. It's handled as well. Just a lot of great different textures going on here. This is like perfect for cosplaying. Mm -hmm. And if you want more higher end cosplay, because yes. yeah, I mean, the plastics are cool, whatever. But this just feels a lot more accurate and uh, just better to hold, better to touch. Yeah, we haven't had a chance to go to Wizarding World yet um, in Universal, but I think other than those, the wands that are there, because we haven't seen those wands, I, I can't think of anything I've seen that's been more accurate and feels more like a real wand. This is just beautiful. Why don't we put it on the stand, see how it looks. Oh, okay. How do we put it on the stand? I think just like how you're doing it. Just like this. It, it fits perfectly. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty much how you do it, I think. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I think that. There we go. And look, it fits beautifully. Yeah, that, that's how it looks. And these things, they go great together. I mean, they're meant to go together. I, I love this see, it goes, so Does it go much. both ways? I would assume it fits in both yeah. ways. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's it's meant from either way, however you want to put it in, but it, they, they have to go together. That's the kind of thing. That's why yeah. we got these. You know, we had to get them both together because... You can't have one without the other. No, no, of course not. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And what's cool about this too is that it's so elegant and nice. Like mm -hmm. this isn't just for, you know, the, the geeky folks like us to put in our closet yeah. or wherever on our wall. This is like for someone who has a really nice desk or an office. Like you put this on there and you're not going to lose any of the class mm -hmm. whatsoever. This, this is for the classy geek. This really elevates a collection. That's <laughs> it a really does. Funny, yeah. This takes geekdom to the next level. That's kind of what Noble Collection has been all about, to yeah. be honest. I mean, it might sound like we're, we're kissing some butt here, no. but it's the honest truth. I mean, I'm the one who initially reached out to them, in fact, about this kind of stuff, yeah. and they've been so awesome about sending us some cool stuff to look at. Yeah, like, honestly, I didn't know as much about the Noble Collection as you did, so you were the one showing me this, and I'm just, I'm absolutely in love with it. I can think of so many franchises I would love to see them, you know, hit, just because, you know, it's like, I feel like this is for the adult collector. That's exactly yeah. it. It's for the adult too. And it's really just, you know, cause you have all these other great props and all these other great replicas and everything, but a lot of them are meant for younger ages. Having something like this, this is just. That's the thing too. Even oh. the price of this guy though, it's not like it's going to be blown you away like a lightsaber would. If you're yeah. buying like, you know, a real style lightsaber, that's going to be like <laughs> an easy 250. Yeah. We're not talking 250 here. This is nowhere near that price point. Yeah. You're getting something really good. Uh, I think this is easily like a, definitely a third. I don't remember the exact price of these things. We'll have links of course for the yeah. actual prices, but you know, you're getting the stand and a wand. You could spend, uh, you know, not that much on these two things. No. I think it's a pretty fair price that they charge for Absolutely. these things. Absolutely. Considering that the tri-dimensional chess set was, I think, 150 for that Something behemoth. Like that, yeah. Oh my god, that like, thing was beautiful. Yeah, so I mean, you're getting quality and you're not paying an armor to like 40. Yeah. They really put so much thought and care into all of this. And I just, I appreciate this so much. One of the things that, you know, as I get older, as a collector, as a nerd, you know, as a geek, whatever, I want things to grow with me, <laughs> you know? As much as, you know, as weird as that might sound, I want to have a collection of stuff that I feel like I can show off to my friends and they're gonna be like, oh, I know what that is, but also doesn't make me feel like I'm a five-year-old or, you know, yeah. really young. <laughs> so this is just perfect. And I love what the Noble, is the Noble Collection is doing. They really are noble in their, you know, quest for awesome goods. Ha <laughs> ha. I also would really love it if they could tap into Doctor Who because there is a franchise that needs love like this. Or Supernatural, I'm sure you'd love to have too, wouldn't you? I would love to have Supernatural, but Doctor Who seems more like likely. But, oh my god, this is just... Yeah, so... I, I can't stop ooing and on <laughs> over this because this is gorgeous. So that's our look at the Harry Potter wand and the Gryffindor wand stand from the Noble Collection. Again, big shout out to them for sending us this stuff our yes, way. thank you so much. Really great stuff, and we recommend you guys pick this up too if you're a big Harry Potter fan, as much as we are. We're gonna have links to where you can buy this in our notes mm -hmm. below, so do make sure you check that out. And even if Harry Potter's not necessarily your fandom, 
um, you're here, <laughs> you're watching what we're doing. So be sure to check out the Noble Collection to see all the other cool stuff they have. Star Trek, Lord of the Rings, DC, DC. and a bunch of other things we didn't mm -hmm. mention here. So yeah, first something for everybody over yeah. in the Noble Collection. So on that note, I am Matthew. I'm Andrea. I took your wand. We'll see you guys next time. Or lightsaber fighting with wands. <laughs> exactly. Pew pew.